this is the basic way of adding titles and these are the pro ways of adding titles in final cut pro let's get started we already have our video in the timeline let's create some basic title animation so with that go to the left side of the software click on titles scroll down and choose custom drag and drop in the timeline let me make the video a little bit short so we have our custom test in the timeline go to the right side click on test inspector let's change the test and we're going to use her vertical font let's change it to bold increase the size of it a little bit and then i'll change the color to somewhere yellow close this scroll down and then add some drop shadow so we have our test on the timeline now with the test selected go to the title inspector so with this we're going to go for in position with the y axis we'll type in minus 15 so it will go down so already you can see the movement on this side then scroll down with in unit size let's change that to all so all of them will go at the same time then we'll do the same thing with the out position with the y axis let's change it to minus 15 and then with the out unit size let's change back to all so it all will come in and all will go at the same time now with that select the titles go to your effect section side click on mask and key select shape marks drag and drop on the titles then go to the right side and work on the parameters there with curvature let's change it to zero feather let's change it to zero two now take your playhead to the very beginning of the test make sure you select the titles then drag the shape marks to the very top of the test so something like this then go to the right side and click on event marks so the titles will disappear from the screen i'll play and show you guys so it comes in nicely and this is the basic way of adding titles mostly when you bring your titles in you want it to pop so we need to do something to the background with that we just click on the video take your playhead to where the test or the title start to come in then go to the effect section side scroll up click on blur add gaussian blur to your video let's close this with a gaussian blur let's make a keyframe on amount make sure you are really at the starting of this test then go to where the test come in fully to somewhere like this take your playhead there and click on the video itself then make another keyframe on amount now we're going to do the same thing with the ending part so take it to where the text end on the screen click on the video and make a keyframe on amount now go back and see where the text start to go out so as you can see it starts to go out somewhere here we take our playhead there click on the video and make a keyframe on amount once again now let's go to the very beginning of it make sure your keyframe is showing showing that we are on the first keyframe over there we'll just change it to zero then when you go to the next keyframe that's the second keyframe we already have our blur there but if you want to increase the blur you can easily increase that to that but we're going to maintain the default settings so we just leave it at 50 then when you go to the third it's still going to be at 50 but now go to the last keyframe by using this arrow and you can see it at the ending of the test over there let's change it back to zero so now I'll play and show you guys our test comes in and then the blur comes in and now when you look at it our blur comes in really harsh we need to make that smooth this is how you do it click on the video Control v to bring the video animation out so now you can see all the keyframes we've added to the video already now click on this drop down menu right next to the Gaussian amount and these are the keyframe graphs we're going to change it take your cursor to somewhere in the middle right click that and then you're going to have these four options to choose with so with this we're going to choose ease so we can have the ease out and also ease in at the same time so we do the same thing at the ending part take your cursor to the middle of it right click that and choose ease so now I'll play and show you guys let me close this now the blur comes in nicely so with the contrast method let's maintain the animation so i'm just going to untake the gaussian blur and have the video and the test animation already done so with that we we'll just click on that once again go to the right side of the software on opacity make a keyframe there then go to where the test comes in fully 
take your playhead there, select the video and make a keyframe on opacity once again. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the ending too. So we take the playhead to where the test end and make sure you select the video and make a keyframe on opacity. Then go to where it starts to go out somewhere here click on the video and once again make a keyframe on opacity now take your playhead to the very first one make sure you select the video then use this arrow to go to the second keyframe it's going to take you right there over there just change it to 50 percent or 60 percent so with this tutorial i'll go with 50 percent then go to the third change it to 50 percent too Right there, when you can see when the title comes in, our video darken and it makes it easy for our viewers to see what titles we have on the screen. And once again, it comes in really hard, so we need to smooth that. Click on the video, Control V once again to bring the video animation out. Then with the opacity lane, click on this drop down menu to bring the graphs out. Then once again, take your cursor to the middle, right click that and choose is. Then go to the ending part right click that and choose is now close this and play and show you guys and one clean way about this is you can combine both the blur and also the contrast method so with this i'll just turn the gaussian blend on and show you guys what i mean by that this next video will show you 10 masking effects you can create in final cut pro catch you guys on the next one peace